What's going on comic fans? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today we're going to talk about this, the stuff behind me. Um, I've recently moved and my collection has moved with me, of course. Uh, it was. It's part of my life at this point. It's a part of my being. It is what I will be carrying in my hobo sack. If you one day see me jumping off of a train I'm very excited that I finally have this all set up. I've got a little office area set up, this recording studio, if you will, recording studio. We're going to go through the collection. We're going to look at all the books. Of course, I am, I've am. i spoken about these books so many times, I won't get too in detail about them. But if you do have any questions about any books, let us know down in the comments below. If there's a book you'd like to see more of, let me know. I'll gladly do another video on it, try to get uh, help the help the creators and the company sell some more copies of whatever they're printing for the title or series at the time. Real quick, I want to mention organicpricebooks.com. Best place to go for your hardcover, trade paperback, omnibus, absolute edition, deluxe edition needs, whatever you need. They've got it. You can pre-order, you can back order. If you've been looking at the screen, you've seen two promo codes show up. THC2 and THC ship it together. Those promo codes are in the uh, description of the video as well. You can copy and paste them if you like. Get yourself some sweet discounts on the organicpricebooks.com website. Check them out. Amazing customer service, amazing shipping. Your books come in incredible condition uh, and they're very quick about everything too. Can't recommend them enough. I mean, it's where most of this collection came from. Uh, so I can't, can't shout out organicpricebooks.com enough and thank them for supporting the channel. Now, I'm very excited to dive into this collection with you all. It's been a, a lot of years that I've been collecting comics. It's gonna be amazing to see this collection change. I'm excited to see how it changes over the next few years. And glad you're here along with me. Let's dive in. Over 300 books strong. Got a bunch of shelves to try and fit all these on here. Honestly, it's not that many shelves either. Um, I guess relatively speaking to other collectors. Um, some people definitely have way more impressive collections than me, but I'm, I'm at a point where I'm happy with the size. I think this is more than enough for me. Um, this, this, it's in a little tiny office, you know, this isn't a huge uh, awesome cave or anything. So. I think there are plenty of books here for me to have to deal with. Um, so I'm at a point where my collection is going to stay in these shelves. This is it. I'm going to have to sell stuff if I want to get new stuff. That's just what it's going to be. Um, so one thing I've started doing is getting manga. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the custom bind videos for Planets and Death Note. Got a, a Seven Deadly Sins there as well that I'm considering maybe binding one day. A little Soul Eater action, Fist of the North Star. Really nice hardcovers coming out for some uh, amazing manga series right now. So very excited to keep collecting those, seeing those collections grow. The aesthetics on them are nice. Like these Full Metal Alchemist books, I just had to go for it. Uh, I, I did a Right Stuff order, just bought a bunch of Full Metal Alchemist hardcovers, the whole set. I think I did a haul video on it. These top layers, these top shelves, they're kind of small. They're going to be great for manga. I also just use them as extra space now for some of these these books that uh, you know I'm working through as I organize the shelves. I've got a batch of custom binds coming in soon, so there, there's so much movement happening right now. I'm selling I'm selling books here and there, trying to clear up some space on the shelves. Uh, so these top shelves are nice right now for the manga and just sort of additional space if I need to to keep some books. Uh, that won't fit anywhere else. I wanted to keep... A, the thing with these shelves is I could create more room just by making the shelves tighter as they are now, but uh, I like having the room to reach my hand in, um, really grab a book nicely as I'm trying to pull it out. What can you? What can I say? I mean, I like to I like to give a bind a nice proper handful. So you can see some of the regulars getting into the regular size hardcovers here at the top. Uh, a lot of DC stuff, a lot of Batman, of course. A lot of those connecting spines I've had for a while. This is the sort of Scott Snyder section, which is fantastic. I've thrown in the metal stuff in between because it just belongs there, you know? It just belongs there. It's not alphabetical, but it just belongs there. Uh, a lot of the Sandman Universe stuff. A lot of these books I've obviously shown off because I really like them, but I really like the custom bind collection that's that's coming together. I'm always conflicted whether I should keep the dust jacket on or, or, or not for some of the books that have them. 
because it looks really classy once you got a full shelf of these library binds with the nice font and everything it looks real cool but so do the dust jackets um, very very conflicted that unknown soldier soilder haunts my dreams to this day still haven't gotten it fixed uh, so I think that stayed pretty consistent with the past uh, three or four collection videos I've done. So consistency is key, they say. Getting into the oversized hardcovers, omnis, and such. A lot of great books in here. I'm a big fan of Batman, as you can see, the Bat family in general. That whole Gotham side of the DC universe just tickles me pink. Uh, very excited by it. Uh, great stories like Multiversity, Green Arrow, Final Crisis, uh, moving into some Superman, and eventually Vertigo. Gosh, the Vertigo section of the collection is uh, some of the most fun you can have reading comic books, in my opinion. Great, great stories. Uh, really enjoy this section of the collection. Hasn't changed that much. I would like to see some more awesome Vertigo collections come out, but uh, who knows? At this point, a lot of the, the Fantastic series have, have been released in one way, shape, or form. We'll see. We'll see what else happens. I'd like to see some Kid Eternity stuff come out. Um few other titles that I, I can't think of right now. Getting into the non-big non, non two stuff, boom, uh, 2000 AD, all that jazz, getting into image. I've got another small small little shelf here, got Echo Lines chilling at the top. Uh, East of West, Deadly Class, I kind of put the over oversized image books on here because I know they're heavy and the spine sag, so I figure they could use some uh, it could use some horizontal time, you know what I mean? Staying vertical all day, every day. Um, but, yeah, great, great stuff. I love the image books. Image hardcovers, still some of my favorites. I still got to get Invincible Volume 1 done. The compendium is sitting in Matt's closet. I couldn't bring it back with me last time I was in Omaha, but next time, if there is a next, when there is a next time, or if Matt visits here, we'll see which one comes first. Uh, I'll be able to wrap that up and, and get Volume 1 back on the shelf again. Uh, miss that book. Miss that book. Looking forward to getting some more of the image stuff that's coming out here. Um, a lot of... I, I love their deluxe editions. I'm very excited to see what else they bring out. As we move into the Incredible Hulk section, this is becoming my favorite part of the collection. And it's going to grow. Those binds, that little set of binds there is really going to grow in, a few, in, a, in the next little while. Uh, I've sent in some more Incredible Hulk books to be bound, so I'll have a couple more of these fatties to read as I wait for, I don't know, the next opportunity I'll be able to get the rest of the issues that I need to bind. There are just so many issues for that title, uh, but I'm very excited to keep going. Loving my Hulk binge if you haven't seen it. A lot of the Marvel stuff I've had up until now, I'll definitely be expanding my X-Men. Uh, what is it at this point? Dawn of X? No, that was the beginning one. Fate of X, Path of X, whatever. That whole era, the current X era of uh, of the Marvel Universe. I'm very excited to, to do that. I mean, I'm, I'm mostly going to follow creators like Simon Spurrier, Kieran Gill, and just collect the series they're doing, other titles that may uh, pique my interest. So it'll be an interesting bind collection once it's all said and done. A, a weird, a, my own weird, custom Mike weird custom thing. Custom collection of X-Men that nobody else has or wants because it doesn't really make sense in the grand scheme of things. It doesn't really collect the titles it should in the order it should or anything like that, but they'll be mine and I'll be happy with them. Humanoids, looking at their extra oversized library size, absolute size, whatever you want to call them. Extra oversized is usually what I go for. Hardcovers, really, really nice books. That Meta Baron's book is trying to escape day by day. It gets closer and closer to the edge. Love the absolute section. If you probably noticed, the spines are out. Everyone makes mistakes. I just had them out like this because I was throwing them in nonchalantly. You can see some are in, some are out. Uh, I kept the classier ones out, but it's time to turn them all back inside because it's 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 time for the the person walking in and looking at my collection uh, to reach in for that Kinder surprise and see what's on the other side of the slipcase when they pull it out. That's it. That's the collection. We just looked at like 300 books in a few minutes. It's crazy. I talked about almost none of them, but I've spoken about them all in other videos. I grant you that. I can guarantee you that. If there is a book you want to know more about, let me know. I'll make a whole whole spanking video about it. It'll be fantastic. Um, I'll enjoy doing it. Hopefully, you'll enjoy watching it. 
it was crazy moving all this stuff over moved about an hour away from where where the collection was previously being hosted um and unlike a torrent it took forever for the seeds and peers to get this stuff moved over but here it is i'm very excited let me know what you think down below thank you all very much for tuning in this is mike from the hardcover comic until next time you stay classy internet